Good Monday evening, everybody, live and direct from House Onik in Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik from the News Channel 3 Weather Center, usually located in downtown Memphis, but a nice backyard view, especially on as beautiful a Monday as this, so very nice to be outdoors for just a little bit before the sun sets. A beautiful day behind us, the first day of May almost over with and looking good into the rest of the week, with a few minor exceptions. We'll talk about that coming up here in just a little bit. Email address right down here beneath the email address address. Below that, you can see the NASA live feed images coming in from the International Space Station in Earth orbit, about 200 miles up and at about 17,500 miles per hour around the Earth. So a little bit of a view as to what the astronauts are seeing out there. Down toward the red bar at the bottom of the screen, if you've never tuned into our astronomy blog before, red bar is astronomical information about sun and moon data out there, which we'll show you in just a little bit where we got that from. And the blue bar at the bottom of the screen back to around the area of our Instagram and Twitter and Facebook, social media basically, and my email address scrolling by at the bottom of the screen, which you can see there if you'd like to contact me about what you would like to see on here. Let's go ahead and see what's going on into the area for tonight. Again, the moon up in a little while should be good viewing conditions out there. It's about uh, 30% uh, just after that, 37% visible from timeanddate.com. If you'd like to see more about uh, what's going on out across much of the Mid-South area for tonight, should have good clear view out there, great view of the sky. Uh, nighttime for tonight, again, should be getting about 10 hours and 22 minutes of decent darkness. Mercury is a little bit too close to the sun to really see anything. Venus will be rising and setting, but it will be visible before sunrise, rising in the east about 4.15 in the morning. It'll be setting, Mars will be setting tonight at about 9.50 in the evening, just before 10 o'clock. And then also looking at Jupiter, should be up quite nicely. That'll be setting in the west about 5.06. Saturn will be rising early in the morning, uh, well, or late in the night, early in the morning, about 11, uh, 10, and afterwards for that. Uranus, Neptune, going to be difficult to see those as they're going to be uh, next to, again, the sun, so very difficult to see stuff like that. Uh, that also, a key, uh, courtesy of timeanddate.com, great website to go to for a ton of weather information there. Cotton Exchange camera, a brief view from downtown, is showing gorgeous conditions, mainly clear skies, a little bit of haze, but very dry air coming in from the west, and that's helping to keep things very clear and good viewing conditions for tonight. If you'd like to see more about the rising Mississippi River, which is going to be heading upwards at the rate of about a foot per day with all that water washing downstream from the storms we had this weekend, go to my video weather blog called Weather Overtime. That's also available to take a look online, and we just posted that just a little while ago, so take a look at that there. Uh, all Sky Cam from ArkansasSky.com. Hopefully some great views on this if you'd like to see their uh, camera, which you can pick up meteors and satellites and helicopters and stuff like that flying across the screen at various points in time. It's ArkansasSkyOneWord.com and take a look at their all-sky camera for more information. Rest of the evening tonight, cool. Temperatures back in the upper 40s to right around the lower 50s, but we should be seeing mainly clear skies across much of the area as we go into the evening hours. Much of what we should get, again, with temperatures out there, relatively cool, should be very pleasant, but a jacket would not be a bad idea. And again, some more clouds up across northeast Arkansas and the boot heel of Missouri, much clearer to the south of I-40 into later on this evening. And overnight and into tomorrow morning, we should be looking again at some quiet conditions out there, but it looks like most of the clouds up around Union City, uh, portions of northwest Tennessee out there, less clouds, more clear skies the longer you wait into overnight, very clear clear skies, so very good news on that. And into early tomorrow morning should be some more sunrise coming our way. Now by Tuesday we see more possibility of cloud cover out there, so this will be your best viewing potential for tonight if you want to get the telescope out and take a look around out there. Taking a look at the American Meteor Society's information page about fireballs, did manage to have one event Again, reported just a couple of days ago. Uh, Going to get some more information on this. This was reported uh, just in the afternoon and evening uh, somewhere. Let me see where this was located at. No indication just yet about where this was. Okay, this is well back over toward Bristol and north of Johnson City around uh, Interstate 81. So probably not too visible here, but if you'd like to see more, all you have to do is just go to AMS Meteors. If you saw something, if you want to see what everybody else saw, this is a great way to uh, check and see what's available out there for information information regarding meteors across the area and who saw what, where, which direction, things like that. Uh, AMSmeteors.org, great opportunity to find out more there. Space Station is over the Sea of Octok 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 
kind of hard to say that one, between the upwards of the peninsula up there and just between there and the northern islands of Japan heading its way out over the Pacific and coming close to the Bering Sea. But we're not going to be seeing it, unfortunately, into the Mid-South later on tonight. It'd be nice, but again, these times the uh, opportunities just don't arise for the space station, the sun, and the Earth to be all in the right position at the same time. So for this evening, going to be difficult to see anything like that. Brighter satellites for tonight. Again, the best thing you're going to be able to see, the brightness magnitude factor that you see uh, in the second right-hand column here, that indicates the lower the levels of the numbers go, the brighter it is. So a 1.6 with this research rocket, uh, what's left over of a rocket body from a launch from a while ago, that's going to be as bright as it gets. And that's not all that bright. You have to get from zero below that into the negative numbers to really be bright. This one will be just barely visible, and you'll be able to see it hopefully going from south to north later on tonight, passing Jupiter to the right and going right through the bowl of the Big Dipper at about 823. So hopefully you'll be able to see this, but again, you're going to have to really get some dark skies out to be able to take a look at where this might actually be out there. So something to take a look at there if you want to try for that. Do we have anything in the way of iridium flares coming up. We may have a couple of them. We'll take a look at the page and see if there's uh, anything out there. Nothing for today. Again, the Iridium Communications Satellite Network is still up there even though the company went bankrupt. Next best one will be coming up very early on May 3rd and about 0.5 brightness, so not all that great. A couple of very bright ones coming up May the 4th, uh, Star Wars Day. And that, again, will be around 8.15 in the evening. We'll bring you more information about that. When the satellite lines up at the right angle, sunlight hits the mirrors and bounces down to the planet. Very bright, very quickly, but you have to be looking in the right position to be able to see something. Go to heavens-above.com for more information about what to see in the night skies across the Mid-South and beyond. Plug in your location and then take a look and see what is overhead with the sky chart out there. You can select the time. We'll go ahead and advance this to just past... Uh, 10 o'clock. We'll go for about 10.14 this evening to see what's available out there. The moon will be in Cancer, back over to around the area just between Gemini and the little dog, Canis Minor. Uh, we'll back toward Jupiter in Virgo in the southeastern skies, rising nicely and should be seen pretty well. And then Hercules also visible with Lyra, very bright uh, star Vega, rising in the northeastern skies. If you'd like to be able to see that at about 10 o'clock this evening and afterwards, and again, that satellite going right through uh, the area in and around the Big Dipper. That can be very interesting to see. Again, great opportunity to see stuff out there. If you want to see what's available, again, there are plenty of websites like Heavens Above that you can go to to find out more details on that. Want to find out even more about what's going on in the Mid-South when it comes to astronomy? The monthly meeting of the Memphis Astronomical Society will be coming up this Friday. They meet the first Friday of every month, and this time around, it's going to be a great presentation, I hope, from what it looks like, uh, looking again at a prelude to the eclipse coming up this August. If you'd like to know more about what to look for, what the big deal about eclipses are, how to see this, uh, information on part two after the intermission break from Bill Wilson about eclipse cycles, about how our planet, the moon, the sun lines up, things like that, and then also about the Antikythera mechanism. If you've never heard about that, amazing machine discovered uh, in a shipwreck that had been lost for almost two millennia. So good opportunity to learn more about that. Go to memphisastro.org if you'd like to find out more about what's going on with Memphis Astronomy or Astronomy in the Mid-South. Great group. I was there for a lecture not too long ago, almost a year ago. Have to go back at some point in time. So a great opportunity to learn more. And their monthly meeting this Friday, May the 5th, 8 o'clock at Christian Brothers University in the Science Auditorium of C.C. Hall. I'd like to know more again, memphisastro.org for more information there. Find out more details about what's going on in the Mid-South, weather, science, astronomy, all that stuff at my Facebook page that's available at facebook.com slash austinonic, W-R-E-G. And you can find out more on my Twitter page as well. That's twitter.com slash aonic underscore W-R-E-G-3. If you'd like to find out more about what's going on across the Mid-South, it's a great opportunity to learn more. We tweet as much as we possibly can to let you you know about weather and science and all things general geekery from across the Mid-South, so a good opportunity to learn more is available on my Twitter page to help you understand more about what's going on out there. Questions, concerns, ideas, let me know, austin.onic at wreg.com, and also a ton of information, again, available through our web section, wreg.com slash weather, right down there beneath the uh, what's overhead tonight and above the icons that you can see on that graphic that we have right there. I don't have a pointer on this thing. OBS doesn't offer a, a pointer 
Illustrator or a Telestrator, so it's kind of hard to say. You'll look over here and look over there. So good opportunity to see more there. We'll have more on the weather tonight. Jim Jaggers has more on News Channel 3 at 10, and we'll have more coming up a little bit later on astronomy as we go into tomorrow. So definitely want to stay tuned for more on that. Live and direct from House Onik Backyard, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Thanks for joining us for tonight's exclusive astronomy blog from the News Channel 3 Weather Center. Stay tuned for more on whatever you do when it comes to science or astronomy. Keep looking up.